All right, so we're gonna go over the assembly of the mini X-Wing tray. Is that everything you're gonna get? You get it, just take it all off, set it to the side. Go ahead and start out with the top. Put your wood glue. Just go ahead and run a bead around it. You don't need a real thick bead, a little light bead is good. Once you put it on there, it simply glues to the top. Give it a good firm push all the way through it. And then once you have it all on there, just stand it up to make sure everything's at the bottom. And then do it on one side as well. That'll make sure everything's square. You get a little piece of scrap that comes in the kit. It's just to scrape off the excess glue. But once you're done with that one, just set it to the side. Now we're going to move on to the inside. So you have the insert, the parts you're going to need. You get one or two extra parts. Go ahead and just take those and pop them all out. So we're going to start out with the base. The ones with the little holes in it, these are what are your hinges. So just go ahead and take them, put a little glue on them. Just go ahead and pop them in. I do that to all four. Go ahead and just use a piece of scrap to wipe off the excess. Push them all the way in. Make sure they're flush. Then you're going to take these little T's. You're going to put two of them here. These go sideways, so... Put them in. Make sure they're flush. Take the insert. Go ahead, just run a little, a little thin bead of glue around. It doesn't need a whole lot. I just, just make sure I get it on the runners so they stay put once you have it all in. But like I said, you don't need to glob it on there because you're just gonna make more of a mess for yourself to clean up. All right, so once you do all that, the little diagonals will go right into there. And it's just to line everything up for you. So once you find it, give it a good push. Make sure you get it all the way in. And then just work your way around Pushing it all down. Then you're going to take this extra scrap that we sent with you and just going to put it in just to clean the glue out and to make sure that they're straight. Now what you want to do here is work yourself from the bottom to the top because you want to make sure that these are correct. So you're just going to put them in there and then these are thinner. So just put it in. And 
work your way across. Oh, you have two more holes here? One there and one there. You'll do the same thing. Just put a little dab of glue on them. A little tease. Go ahead and put them in. Wipe the excess glue off. Then you're going to want to let that dry for about five minutes. All right, a couple minutes have passed. So now you're going to want to do is take your top. And because everything's still going to be a little tacky and wet, you want to put these in really, really soft. So when you put them in, just line the holes up and then work it up and down a little bit until they go in set it down and all you once you get it in go ahead and insert your little pieces you're gonna want to let this dry for about an hour take the piece of stick you had and put it between so you don't glue the top closed put it right there and that's it